everybody. I'm Sergio with Mobility Scooters Direct, here today to show you how to diagnose your batteries on your mobility scooter, particularly a go-go scooter or a go chair. Most electric wheelchairs and mobility scooters can be tested in the same way that you're about to learn how to test these batteries. I'll show you how to do it. It's very easy. You do need a voltage meter. Here I have a multimeter. You can get them at your uh, tool store for around $20 to $30 for a really basic one that just tests voltage and how high the voltage is when you put these two probes on the positive and the negative of your battery lead terminals or in this case I'm going to show you how to actually test your batteries without even having to take apart the battery box and expose your batteries. And the way to do that is by actually using the charging port. So if you look here on the right side, there's an XLR charging port and that's where your charger plugs right into. There's another one here on the actual battery box and you can use that one too. But for this test, what we're gonna be doing is not only testing the actual voltage of the batteries by putting our black and red probes on the left and right holes of that battery port or the charger port, which you can see we have 25 volts roughly, which is pretty much a full charge two 12 volt batteries fully charged will actually give you about 25 volts. Now that's all fine and well. However, it can read a full charge and still actually have bad batteries. And that's because some batteries will lose their ability to retain a charge for a very long time. You may notice your scooter charges up fine, but then it only lasts for a few hours or an hour, maybe 20 minutes. And that's because your batteries are bad and they've been mistreated or they're malfunctioning some way or another because batteries really only work a certain way. Once they get very low on power, let's say you drain it and you ride the scooter all day, all night, and then the next day you, you forget to charge it, you bring it out again and you drive that thing down until the battery's completely dead. You've actually damaged your battery. So avoid letting your battery indicator here get to the red start charging it anytime any of these lights disappear. Even if it's just a few green ones where the battery indicator is saying, you know what, your battery is losing a little juice, you could charge it overnight and it's not gonna damage your scooter batteries. But allowing it to get down to the red or possibly losing all of its juice is for sure gonna kill your batteries and you're gonna have to replace them sooner than later. Now, if you wanna really test your batteries, let's say they're reading a full load when you're not moving, that doesn't mean that when you're actually moving and using power, which is from an electricity standpoint known as putting the batteries under a load test, because when you're actually moving, you get more juice than what it's actually just reading when you're standing still. And it might take a little getting used to with the probes to get them all the way in there, but once you've got a steady reading, like we have here on 24.9. I'm gonna put the speed all the way down to the slowest setting, and I'm gonna keep an eye out on my, bat, on my voltage meter to see what happens when I start moving. What is that average voltage when I actually start moving? And as you can see, now that I'm moving, the voltage is not going much lower than the full charge voltage, and that's what you wanna see. I'm gonna reverse, and you're gonna see the same thing. The voltage is staying steady at above, anything above 23, 22 is good. Now, if I were to perform this test on a different unit that has batteries that are no good, this voltage when I'm moving would drop down below 22 or 23. And that's a sign that your batteries are not performing well under load and they're gonna need to be replaced. Sooner or later, you're gonna run into that situation where the battery only lasts maybe an hour, 30 minutes until few weeks later they're just completely done so same thing we could do here with the go chair on this particular go chair we know that the battery is malfunctioning so we can see on the battery indicator here that it's got one red light and it's blinking and if we test by going on the XLR here the two holes on the left and the right just like the other one on the scooter it's going to allow us to see what our actual voltage is. It's very low right now. So this is a good example of what a 
um, low voltage battery looks like. And when I try to go and use it, that voltage starts dropping lower and lower and it's not holding a charge. These batteries have to definitely be replaced. So that is how you're gonna test your battery both under load and not under load to see if your batteries are charged all the way, if they're working properly while it's going. Again, just by having the, the voltage reader meet out, uh, meter read out 25 volts, it doesn't mean your batteries are good. It just means they're able to hold a full charge. How long it can hold that full charge for is the actual important question. And again, use these two probes on the left and the right side of the XLR charging connector uh, port. Go ahead and give it some gas and you'll know. I hope this video has been helpful. Tune in for more troubleshooting videos just like this one. Thanks for watching. I'm Sergio. Have a great day.